In this problem, we're going to look at boiling point elevation. We have an aqueous solution that boils at 101.92 degrees Celsius. We want to know how many grams of sodium phosphide were dissolved in 75.0 milliliters of water to prepare the solution. The boiling point elevation constant for water is 0.512 degrees Celsius for molality. We know that the boiling point of a solution containing a non-volatile solute is always higher than the boiling point of the pure solvent. So we can use the following equation to solve this problem. The change in the boiling temperature is equal to I times Kb times M. In this equation, I is the number of individual particles, typically ions, that are formed by a compound in solution. Kb is the boiling point elevation constant for the solvent, in this case water, and M is the molality of the solution in moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. We can use the boiling point data given to calculate the change in boiling point. We know that the boiling point for pure water is 100 degrees Celsius. So the change in boiling point is 101.92 degrees Celsius minus 100 degrees Celsius, giving us a value of 1.92 degrees Celsius. We can now plug this value in for the change in the boiling temperature. Let's take a look at calculating I. Remember, I is the number of individual particles, which are typically ions, formed by a compound in solution. Since one mole of sodium phosphide produces four moles of ions, three moles of sodium ions, and one mole of phosphide ions, I is going to be equal to four in this equation. When we plug that in, we see that I is equal to four. And we can go ahead and also solve for the value of Kb. The boiling point elevation constant for water was given to be 0.512 degrees Celsius per molality. This now leaves only one unknown variable, which is the molality of the solution. To solve for M, we obtain the following value. The molality of the solution is 0.938 molality of sodium phosphide. Remember, the problem asks us for how many grams of sodium phosphide were dissolved in the 75.0 milliliters of water. So our final step is now to convert from the molality to grams. So we'll start with our 75.0 milliliters of water, use the density of water to convert this to grams. We will then convert grams to kilograms so that we can use the molality as a conversion factor. Remember, molality is moles of solute, which is sodium phosphide, per kilograms of solvent, in this case water. So once we have kilograms of water, we can use the molality to find moles of sodium phosphide. The very last step is to find the molar mass of sodium phosphide, about 100 grams, to convert moles of sodium phosphide to grams of sodium phosphide. At the end, we find that we need 1.76 grams of sodium phosphide dissolved in 75.0 milliliters of water to prepare this solution.